All right, here's a quick box lot from the hoarder house. Um, some of it needs to get pulled out because I'm just tripping everywhere and uh, it needs to get pulled out because I've never looked at any of it. It needs to get separated, yada, yada, yada. So we get some little crank wrenches there. I'll try to be a little thorough on the... We get some uh, broken pot. Stuff here. We got a floppy drive and this a computer in here. Okay. In here. This is a looks like two TV sets that you put on the back of the uh, headrest. Archer noise reduction. Everyone loves noise reduction, so that's a that's an easy sale. What do you get here? Some vintage fishing gear. We got some movies. Looks like uh, looks like all Bond. Looks like I got a bunch of Bond. Camera chunks, and we got some fishing gear, and a chunk of a weather radio. Joyous. More fishing gear. Fishing gear. All right. Let me cut clip. We'll go underneath that box. All right. All right. Back into the next section here. Two boxing gloves. A box and a sparring or something. That's at least five bucks at the flea. Uh, kind of a CD bath cleaner. This one looks powered though, rather than uh, you spin it by your hand. So this is nice. It's at least five or ten. Um, okay, so we got now we got war games. That's a, that's a good movie. One Crazy Summer. That was a good one. The Ernest Goes to Camp. That does good. Everyone knows that one. Let's see if it's in there. Uh, Ernest Goes to Camp. Alright. We got Starman. Get some more. Bond. Bond. I don't know if these are originals. I mean... This looks like a, you know, a classic remake or whatever. The Wizard of Speed and Time. Okay. Uh, great Hollywood chase scenes. That's that's a good one. When there was uh, actual real chase scenes, not this cinematic dubbed over green screen crap that we get now in a uh, Ghostbusters. Alright, then we got two hand saws. It's two nice umbrellas. They're vintage for sure. Um, they got the swivel clamp. You bolt it to your uh, uh, what kind of chair was that? <laughs> You guys know what chair I'm talking about. The mold chairs. But, uh, yeah, let's open one of these up. What do you say, huh? Let's do it. All right. We're back. Another box out. Kind of splattered it out for you, except for the backpack. Left that a little desert mystery. So, might have showed you in another video, but we get another one of these Archer... Uh, video enhancer got a little tool here so it does like 20 that's probably five uh, we get an antenna maybe five ten a little uh, saw yeah, maybe a dollar or two 
Uh, you get the Stanley laser. It's a small laser. It's in there. It might work. It's probably five or ten at the flea market. I'll rifle it off. It'll go in the shed. Flea market it up. Need flea market inventory, so. Um, it's still sick. So we get this realistic TRC 415 with a squelch. That's kind of cool. Get the lower receiving area. It's kind of cool. Uh, we get this one hander realistic TRC 61 CB transceiver. Yeah, no squelch, but uh, might have a squelch over here on the handle. We get a Pioneer Graphic Equalizer Booster. That's kind of sweet. No clue what that does. I don't think Equalizer, but no clue what it would do in price. At least 50, I guess. Um, we already sold one of these for parts for 90, so um, let's see. Yeah, everything looks good. Probably clean it up and uh, do another 90. I get another one listed at 90, so we'll just wait until that one goes. And this one will be next, and I think I got one more after that. So I got this Supreme Equalizer Panasonic. Another one of these. So I got two of these now. The Composer. Got mine listed at 90. And we'll see if I can get some crazy pricing on it. Uh, it's a Satellite Pro Toshiba. I've sold one of those for about 50 before, untested. Um, uh, well, it turned on. That was about it. That's as far as the testing went. So, we can get that fired up. Uh, it's a set of speakers. Maybe 5 or 10 at the flea. And there's some uh, e-waste, hard drive, motherboard parts, and Apple chunks, and some uh, drives, and some... Uh, Ram. Some ram in there. Ram or Oh, timber. <laughs> All right, that, what are we decreasing the value on that? No? Alright. <laughs> All right, we got this push and tackle. Let's stick a big red. And, uh, I haven't gone through any of these, but. People are picking a lot of stuff over, so I mean, this case is five. This case is five dollars. Come on, let's be realistic. That's a decent five-dollar case. All right, get these reels. It was Shakespeare Pro AM ES. We got a Mitchell. We got a Mitchell Avocet Two Twenty. Two four thousand. We got a uh, Fluga Free Speed uh, one thousand. There's a North South Bend number four fifty. We got a uh, we got a Zebco. A nice Zebco. It's a Pro Shaft. One one zero. We got a Concord one C one thousand. Yeah, all right. We got a. Oh, we got a Shimano FX one thousand. Bait caster. Bass. <laughs> Whoops. Bass. Uh, real. Put some fishing line here. We got a. What's this little guy? We get a Zebco. Little mini Zebco. With drag control. Missing a couple pots. And we got a. A Roddy Hunter. Uh, 346 Roddy Hunter. What's this? A Zebco? No, this is a 
South Bend. South Bend spin cast, 1 4 3 0. Sorry if I'm abusing all these on you guys. We got an Ocean City 1970. We got a Zebco number 11. And we got, we got a live tape. <laughs> Didn't have a crack case, but now it does. Uh, we got a King Neptune. And we get another King Neptune. What we got here? There's a, there's a Daiwa mini cast. This kind of, that's kind of cool. Made in Japan. High tech. We got some weight. I collect the weight. We got a bunch of other those. And we got a backpack. <coughs> EMS backpack. Maybe two bucks, three, three bucks at the flea. Sometimes people are walking around and they're uh, buying stuff. They f forget to bring a bag. And uh, they need a bag. There you go. Three bucks. Take it. So we're dipping in. We're dipping in. Sorry that took so long there, but we're dipping in. All right, let me pull another box. All right, here's the last rug. Um, I didn't see if it was marked yet, but it's pretty massive. It's a, um, looks like a 10 by 16, maybe. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's not, you know, nothing super nice, but it's still a nice rug. It's in really good shape. It's really clean. And uh, that's what I like about it. It's got some nice colors. I think you can bring, I think you can bring a lot of stuff in with that. It's, it's nice. Tell me it's not, all right? Tell me it's not nice. <laughs> so I paid 40 for this one. So 40 for that one, five for that one over there, and free dumpster find on that one. So not bad on rugs. All right, on 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 away from these rugs, onto something else. It's a nice silk craft rug. It's a, it's a three by five. This is a uh, hand crocheted. Handmade by this guy, by this lady, in 1983. It's pretty nice. It's cute. Cute little rug. Probably a 30 note. The big one. All right, here's the computer. I don't know how much battery left I got here, but it's pretty modded up. Look at this thing. We get three drives. We get all this audio stuff. Dip inside. We get it professionally wired for sure. Definitely. Um, Drives a wired. We get a dual DDR21066 Venom. Venom CPU. I don't know if that's good. Go look that up. We get a Cool Max ZP750B. We get this heavy duty fan installed on it. That's definitely a custom job. It's a DC brushless fan model DF 
ES25L. That L. I don't know. What do you think of that thing? What do you think? What do you get out of that? It's pretty modded up. It's at least a hundred, no? I don't know. You got that. You got the very, very scary rocking horse. But it's cool, but I mean, come on now. Look at this thing. It's like possessed. Possessed rocking horse. Rock on me. Sit on me. Sit on me. All right, on to the next. All right, we got one, two more box lots to go through. We got these drive pads for a wheelchair. These are brand new, made in Germany, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably made in China. Um, let's see. Yeah, made in China, Germany, yeah, far fetch. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, me and the puppies will be here. And I'll be holding the fort down. And we're probably going to be keeping the phonograph. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to try and convince the wife into, uh, I was trying to find a spot for it. Maybe build up a little, uh, record collection. We'll see how it goes. That stuff's kind of really expensive to start collecting, but, uh, I mean, I'm in it for a dollar, so, I mean, eh, eh. We can keep it for a little while and then sell it. So, all right. Peace. Till the next video. Thanks for uh, coming by. Thanks for staying so long. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Come again. Peace. I'll leave you with a tune.